So, apparently we've got ourselves a nice little island. And Bismarck is apparently taking the bait. Now, I'd like to bring up a point that was kind of half brought up in... the whole Ravana thing. Now, initially we had to, we were questioning the Vath and whatever about Ravana because we knew nothing about how to deal with Ravana, okay? And in hindsight, I later kind of forgave that a little bit because even though knowing anything about a primal didn't necessarily help us in previous primals, um, but at least I, I kind of half conceded after the fact that, well, we didn't know anything about the Beast Tribe in and of itself, and, and some of that, sometimes that sort of knowledge can bleed over into the knowledge of their god. Okay. Alright. Fine. Well, here's the thing. We don't know, we know next to nothing about the Vanu either. Now, we know slightly more than the Vast because we have been, uh, up here, you know, in the Sea of Clouds previously before, but there is absolutely no plot point or anything like that in regards to, oh, hey, we know nothing about Bismarck. How are we actually going to deal with it? Yes, we now have found a way to ensnare him and engage in direct combat with him, but, like, how do we actually deal with him? We don't know. So it kind of just further kind of, you know, reiterates that whole whole stupid thing about questioning that shit of the bath about Ravana was entirely fucking pointless. So I actually forgot about the generator there. So yes, if we do not have the generator up here, um, he will smack the island and he will be temporarily stunned. So now we're going to snare him with our, um, I actually didn't mean to pop presence of mine there, with our dragon killers and get up on the Hodge's back. Now this is the only way to weaken him and this is the only kind of interaction we'll have with him is we literally start breaking his spine. That is the whole shtick here. I'm dead serious. Okay, and this DPS is kind of beans because you should be able to break that in one shot. Uh, by the way, it's extreme only that you have to jump up before he runs away in normal mode, which, well, technically this is hard. He will throw you off of his own accord. Now, you can fall off this island, which I find hilarious, and you can jump on his back too early before he's actually fully, uh, Mounted I guess against the side and fall off that way And yes, people have died doing that Oh, they got the generator, okay All right, this DPS is kind of beans Okay, I will totally say that. Now, at least it's somewhat interesting is that you're not in, like, a, a free attack mode on this back. It does do substantial damage to you, as you can see. Even with the Divine Sealed Medic 2, we're still taking damage here. I mean, nobody's gonna die, but we're still taking damage. So now we've kind of exposed his spine a bit. Now, now question. Okay, if Tang actually wants to do this. Um, if the whole point of tagging this island along was to kind of bait him, well, we've technically injured him. Why is he not eating the island right now? Yeah. That has never kind of explained. Now I will say that I, I kind of find it very, a little bit interesting that they did take a different approach to this fight and you do not engage him directly. The only problem is, like I said, uh, since Bismarck himself is extremely unremarkable in this game and it's pretty much just shoehorned in for the sake of cameo and having another primal in the 3.0 story proper. It probably would have worked better with a different primal. So 
So here, pretty much our goal is we just need to kill these uh, two Sea of Cloud snakes, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what we would call them. Well, technically they're called Sanuas, but we need to make a funny name and shit because that's how we roll around here. So from here on out, um, the actual generator is busted. It's of no use to us anymore. And even though it, it never actually happens, what I do I find uh, rather interesting about this fight is that you are on a soft and rage time limit. Um, that being the island integrity here. Because every time he slams up against the island, obviously the island's integrity is compromised. Eventually, it's not going to sustain you anymore. You will die. So here he comes. Is he gonna eat us? And that, my friends, is what happens if you fail the DPS check. He just straight up just fucking murders your asses. Alright, several attempts later because this DPS is absolutely fucking abysmal. Uh, now we can actually see the second part of the fight. Which is more of the shit. But at least there's actually weather effects that come into play here. And because we don't have the generator anymore, we will get hit by uh, Bismarck beating the shit out of the island. So, I don't remember half the weather effects, but there's three different ones. There is lightning, wind, and um, rain, I think. And the only one I remember is uh, don't steer near each other in the thunder because he spews AoEs at you. Or rather, the, the stuff that's splash damage. And to not kill the bubbles. Like, there's another one, like, like you have to, like, donut in the middle and everything, and... And if I remember half this fight, I just pew pew pew. So yeah, now he is an exposed portion. Which we now beat the shit out of. I'm guessing we beat the shit out of this because I'm trying to get the key out, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. I don't question this fight because... Frankly, again, he's been kind of just shoehorned in, so I don't really give a shit about him. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to regen. No, not myself. Ah, oh, silly thing. And of course, to be a dick bag, this guy is like spewing an AOE that well, can and will knock you off if you're not careful. And yes, you can- Ah, oh, fucking Clark's dad, stop it. Yeah, many a tank has unintentionally fallen off there because the AOE got pointed at them and they didn't have time to move. Whoops. Nope, can't get the vulnerability off. Okay, I'll be fine though. We'll be totally fine. Hey guys, you gotta get the dragon killers. Leave the ads. Because if you take too long to, to activate the dragon killers, then he will disable them. And you will have to start the ad phase all over again. So it's always of your best interest to... Let the tanks, if necessary, pick away at the ads. And everyone else get on the back, because otherwise you're back at square one. 
Hooray! That seriously only took a half a fucking hour. Or at least I've been recording for a half an hour. So the plan worked, I guess, but what about the key? Oh, that was fucking convenient. It's rather tiny. Oh, no, no, no. Now is not the time for a Hollywood heart attack. No. No. Pick it the fuck off the ground. Well, I've got another crystal back, I guess. So falls the Lord of Mists, as did all others before him. Yeah, who are you, by the way? How many times does this make, Warrior of Light? Ah. Uh. How much you have grown. Far beyond the limits of mere mortals. Yeah, you're a little slow in the uptake. This was like a year and a half ago this happened. She has what we seek? Yes, I just literally picked it up off the ground. No, you cannot have it. No, shove it up your butthole. Do something. Yes, she does. The key to Azizla and the secrets of Alag. No, 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 no. Don't bring the fucking Alagons into this. No, no. Why is it always fucking Alagons? Uh, Sid, Alphano, a little help here? I see you have regained the blessing of light, albeit at a fraction of its former strength. Somebody help anybody? I love how Thornton, like, won't even, like, bend over and pick it up and got himself. My thanks to you, Asian, and to you as well, Warrior of Light, for saving us the effort of slaying Bismarck. You know what? Fuck you! You killed my friend. Fuck you! Now that the key is within our grasp, the path to the heavens shall at last be laid bare! So I guess this thing is a GPS stall on it, I guess? Though <laughs> so I guess it's not so much as a key as it is directional guidance. Would somebody please fucking come over here and help me?
Okay, you idiots have the perfect opportunity to kill me and you're just gonna leave me here? By our deeds shall the wrongs of antiquity be righted, and man reclaim the reins of history. You two guys do know by leaving me here alive, albeit subdued, you are only sowing the seeds of your own demise because of course I'm going to come after you and kick your asses now because now I'm twice as fucking pissed off. You do realize how fucking stupid you are right now, right? Right? then I guess that must be as this law all right in yeah thanks for your help assholes yeah too bad we didn't see any of that <laughs> You're not funny. Well, technically you couldn't have done anything, but... Well, let's be a, li a tiny, tiny bit fair here. What the hell was our plan going to be once we actually slew Bismarck in the first place? Like, were we gonna keep the key away from them forever? Were we gonna destroy it? Like, what were we actually gonna do with it? Like, we didn't actually think this through. I mean, let's be a little bit fair here. We, we were kind of fucked the minute we stepped in here. And no matter what we did, we were either gonna, help, we, we were either gonna shoot ourselves in the foot or aid somebody. Because lest we forget, the Empire is fucking here too. Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's go tell the Empire where the, where the fucking, uh, the Archbishop is. Let's send him after them. Let's watch the carnage there. Oh, God. This would be a fun. Just let them kill each other, and then we're like, hi, guys. Bye. So maybe this might yet work to advantage. Hi, guys. They're over there. We, we, we know where Ozus lies. We saw this, like, beam of light, and we get the general direction of where it is. They have the key now. Psst. Go after them. After them. Oh, well. Uh, I guess we're going to have to find out next time. So thank you for watching, friends. And I shall see you then.